welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through my everyday makeup routine just because I have had quite a few people ask me for it one when I've been posting stories on Instagram. So I'm going to do it for you. If you do like to see this sort of content, hit the big red subscribe button down below and go follow me on Instagram where you can see a lot more of me and let's get straight into it. First to go in with my primer after I've done all my serums and moisturiser which are on my morning routine reel on my Instagram. So I go in with the MAC Fix Plus Spray or the Sleek Mattifying Primer depending on how I'm feeling on the day and I think I'm going to go in with my Max, MAC Fix Plus today. So we just give that a quick spray over. Okay, so then I go in with my foundation. So I always and have for a while used the Maybelline Superstay. Um, I use it in sand when I've got tan on like today. But if I don't, I use it in ivory just because I am pale as anything. So I just take one and a quarter squirts of that on a brush, dot it onto my face so quickly and just rub it in in circles make sure i get my eyelids as well because as you can tell i have very veiny eyelids for some reason um and i'm not really sure why but i do have very like prominent veins anyway like all down my arms and stuff i don't know whether it's just from being so pale but i'm not really 100 percent sure so I'll just take that down the neck as well like so so that's all nice and blended in and i go in with two different concealers so i've got the estee lauder double wear in light one w uh, for under my eyes and i use the last imperfection collection concealer in cool medium for any of my blemishes so i take the estee lauder double wear and just pop it in two spots under my eyes like so do a quick little bit on my forehead, bit down my nose, touch on the middle of my chin and then I take this one, my collection one and I just pop that on any of my blemishes that I can see in my mirror and then I take a nice fluffy brush and I just blend that all in. So to blend it in under my eye I literally just tap it with this fluffy brush so realistically I could just use a sponge but I just don't like how aggressive sponges can be um so as you can see that's done a like a nice lift under my eye there um so if you keep it off of your eyelid as much as possible obviously that's why I put the foundation there it really pulls your face and your eye upwards so you look a lot more lifted um just buff it in circles on that forehead there so you get a nice sort of highlight on your forehead and down the bridge of your nose. I did used to do my Cupid's bow with concealer as well, but I just don't think you necessarily need it. Buffing that bit of that chin there. And then I'll just grab my mirror and do my blemishes as I need to see a little bit closer in. And I wear glasses, so I can't see on there. <laughs> then I take my Revolution stick foundation just as a contour colour um which I do I did actually buy one that was a touch too dark but if you just don't put much of it on um it tends to look okay so then I just I've got an eyelash stuck to my nose that's good um sweep it down my nose like that and I leave my cream contour off of the end of my nose wow that's really wonky um because it tends to make my nose look a little bit odd so then i just blend that in i do my chin first as that's where i don't like to set as much um because it can make your line look very harsh if that sets for too long just blend it on the forehead And then I'll do my nose and my cheeks and come back. Now I've done all my cream products, I'm going to set my face. And I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder I have for years. It's just a cheaper one. And being a student, 
yeah we just need those cheap products and it works it does the job so i just sweep that over my whole face um make sure i've got a nice lot under my eyes because they tend to crease quite easily um so just pat it under there make sure you've really got it set in and do any other bits that get oily throughout the day or your makeup tends to come off um then we're gonna go in with or bronzer so i've got the mac beijing beauty radiant matte bronzing powder um i actually bought this on a bit of an impulse buy didn't really need it but i'm going to use my mirror again just so i can see what i'm doing but i take a little bit of that tap some of it off and just buff it with a really light hand into those areas where i put that cream contour um, and I do actually blend it out with a different brush just because I used to try blending it out with this brush that I was using and I just used to get really harsh lines because you've got leftover product on your brush that it just tends to not blend out as well as if you use a cleaner powder brush. So as, I've, as I use translucent powder, I just use my powder brush and just buff that in in circles going up in the direction I want my face lifted so out towards the edges of my face like so okay so now that's all nice and blended in we've got no harsh lines I'm gonna go in with some blushes so I've got NARS uh what are these ones called uh, just one of the standard NARS blushes I don't actually know what they're called but this one's in the shade more which is a really nice sort of dark pink kind of color as you can see i've used it a lot so i just get a tiny bit on my brush tap it off give it a blow and just sweep that up my cheekbone um not focusing necessarily on the apples of my cheeks because that can really drag your face down and not smiling while you do it as well because as soon as you drop that smile your face drops because you've put it there watch how far down that goes so try and keep it on a on a line of your bronzer that's where i tend to go follow that line of bronzer and you should be fine you should keep that nice lifted shape to your face so then i go in with my mac soft and gentle highlighter which i'm not gonna lie i'm not really like a trying new products kind of girl I find one I like, I use it, I stick to it. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, but you know, so I'm just lightly dusting that on. We don't want a load of highlighter like this. It wants to be nice and natural. Just pop a bit on your cupid's bow and on your chin, down the bridge of that nose, on the tip of the nose and dust a bit on the forehead. And any touch-ups you need to do, just do those as of when you see them so that's it for the face we're going to move on to eyebrows so i know not not a lot of people show people like you doing your eyebrows because it takes a lot of concentration the faces aren't exactly ideal but we're gonna just gonna take a little spoolie brush and i'm just gonna brush that through my eyebrows um at this point i would usually check if there's any sort of stray hairs that need just grabbing with a with the tweezers but i did do a nice big sort of shaping session the other day so we're all right for now and then i take the anastasia dip brow pomade and i use it in medium brown i like my eyebrows to be a little bit darker than my hair just because all throughout my life because i've got such fair hair my eyebrows are really fair so these are currently tinted right now um but you can't usually see them without any product on so i went in with a darker colour one day and just really liked it so I stuck with it um so I just sweep some colour sweep a line under the brow from about halfway along and then fill in the top from that line so you really don't need much product on your brush at this point like you can see I literally did one dip in the pomade with my brush like one little stroke 
and I've basically filled in one eyebrow because you don't want a massive block colour on the end. So you just want to use the last little bits of product you've got and almost blend that colour into those front hairs um, and just take it through. So I like a curved shape on the end of my eyebrow and I'm not hugely into that old like ombre style but I do like a slight lighter shade towards the middle of my eyebrow. So I'm just going to do my other eyebrows. My eyebrows are nearly done. I'm just going to take my collection brow gel, tinted brow gel, and I just run that through my eyebrows just to make them stay for the rest of the day. This is honestly really good stuff if you're looking for a bargain um, tinted brow gel. This has lasted ages now. As you can see, like a lot of the writing's kind of rubbed off. But yeah, if you want a cheap one that lasts a while and that keeps your eyebrows in place all day, that is a good, good product. The so next I get with my mascara, I've just glued my eyelashes. So they've got a little bit of time just to get a little bit sticky. Um, so they stick on a lot easier when I go to put them on. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes first before I put any mascara on. Um, my eyelashes do not seem to stay curled so I do actually use three different mascaras every day so I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills one which is the Lash Brag Volumizer Mascara I use a Revolution Mascara with the same kind of wand and then I use the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes so I go in with my Anastasia one first um, and I just run that through my lashes I'm not too fussed about them going clumpy right now um, because one of my mascaras is a little bit dry so it tends to fix that problem um, so yeah we just run that through both eyelashes trying to get really into that inner corner so you coat all those lashes and then I take the L'Oreal one which has got a slightly skinnier brush and a more plastic brush um, compared to the other two I just run that one through And then I go in with my Revolution one, which is the one that's a little bit dry and it's got the same brush as the Anastasia one. And then we just brush some of that through there as well, like so. Next up, eyelashes. So I've just got them glued. I glued them before, as mentioned, and they sat on the lid of the box. Uh, I'm going to attempt to put these on on camera. We'll see how it goes. Um, but just take whichever one you glued first, if you can remember. By this point, I don't think it will really matter. Give them a little shake. Give them a little uh, blow just to give them a little extra dry drying time. And then if you look down towards the mirror, so you can see I've got my mirror sort of just below camera and just place them as close to your lash line as possible. I usually stick the centre in first, then place the corners on. And if they're not going on with my tweezers, I just do them with my fingers, like so. So in a corner, is not having it today. So I'm push that on there. And then while that sets, just before we do the next little step, just take your other one and your tweezers. And we're going to do the same again. Mirror below you, look down. Just give them a little dry. Mirror below you. Place them on top of the lash line. Like so. Stick your outer corner on. And you're in a corner. Mm. 
like so. And then just give them a little second to dry. And what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna clamp the lashes together. So your mascara should still be a little bit wet under your eyelashes. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in with your fingers and pinch. And what that does is it just groups your eyelashes together. If you put a little bit too, too much glue on, you'll see what just happened. You get a string of glue, but that's fine. It'll just come off on your fingers. So that's that one done. And then just clamp the other side. Like so. And you've got gorgeous young long lashes. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna go in with some lipstick. I put some lip balm on as part of my morning skincare this morning. So that's all fine. So we're gonna go in with our MAC lip pencil in Spice and we're just gonna line the edges of the lips with that. There really is no need to overline, like I think on camera it can look really good. But in real life it's really obvious that you've overlined your lips so you can see the natural lip line. underneath your lip liner so I just don't think it looks all that great so you can see I've just done the edge of my lips and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the corners like so so you get a little bit of shading in the corners it just makes them look a little bit bigger then I'm going to go in with MAC Velvet Teddy I mean it's a staple isn't it at this point um, so we're just popping that all over the lip um, it goes really well with Spice they um, recommended it to me when I first went into MAC to buy it and I basically just asked them which one went best and that was the one they said so then these if you don't have any of these NYX butter glosses you need them I've got four colours and one of them's running out so I'm going to do a shade top up and I'm going to see what other shades they do but this one's praline usually I'd use my one my other one in Madeline for this but this is the one that's a little bit dry as you can see by the brush there's just not all that much on it um I don't know if you can see that but yeah there's just not a whole lot on it so we'll just go in with the darker one they don't have too much color to them so it doesn't matter too much but they're just a nice little topper to make your lips look nice and plump and juicy. Okay, so then I just finish up with my MAC Fix Plus finishing spray. So just go, just go and lightly spray the face. Go with that, let that dry, and then we're done. That is it done. A nice quick. 15 20 minute makeup for every day once you get it down like it literally takes 15 minutes i think that's all that's taken me um but you can see like my skin looks really smooth and flawless etc my eyebrows aren't even but tw sisters not twins that's what i've always gone for um if anyone wants to know what these lashes are they're just a five pack of Ardell Wispies and I use the duo glue to stick them down but I honestly I love them for a nice natural look like they are long don't get me wrong so if you're not used to lashes you might use them for going out but they're just so wispy and natural it's great uh, but that's that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the big red subscribe button down below Give me a follow on Instagram and my Facebook page where you can see a lot more of me and I'll link those down below as well so you can get to them easier and let me know what other videos you want to see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.